name's Marissa Heaven and I teach at Windsor Secondary School in North Vancouver. Um, we're just finishing up our final night here in Cuba with the Canada Cuba Tours and it's been absolutely incredible. Um, I have wanted to do this trip since I was in high school myself. I was 15 when I first met Jonathan at a BCMEA conference and uh, promised him that one day I would take this trip. I got their um, mail out packages for years before I was actually a teacher and so when I finally started teaching it was the first thing on my list and uh, I'm happy to say that it was everything I'd always dreamed that it would be. It was well organized, our activities were a lot of fun and diverse and our tour guides were amazing and uh, they made it completely unforgettable. Um, there's not one thing that I would change and uh, I it's just it's perfect and it's a lot of fun my students are inspired I've been inspired and uh, it just kind of set a new platform for for us and hopefully a new direction for where our trips will go in, in the years to come it's, it's just an incredible experience to see that the level that everyone plays at in Cuba they they all love music um, they all dance they um, they and they love to invite you in I think other places you're sort of left on your own but here you're really immersed into the culture uh, you you really get to know the people and the way of life and it's just it's an incredible experience it's nothing like um, nothing like anything back in Canada uh, yeah it's it's definitely changed my view on everything so yeah Yeah, totally. Uh, we participated in a Cuban percussion workshop as well. Um, not just our percussion um, members, but our whole band in general. And that was unbelievable. I learned personally a lot from it, um, keeping time. But I'm sure they learned a lot to keep take away from this, to bring back home, and to use in future. Cuba is very original. It doesn't have... Um, all the all the richness and all the popularity of New York or um, Disneyland but all of these like it makes so much of a difference here it's so raw here um, everything is very condensed and it's a great schedule and everything works so well here the money is like spent totally worth it it was an absolutely great trip this trip was truly amazing. It's a big cultural experience, which was great. And you get to do it with your friends if you're going with the school, which is unlike any vacation that you could go on. And being on an actual tour, you're busy every day from the a.m. to the night, but it's filled with so many things that you can take away from life, and it was just awesome. Adam Kozak, I'm the Choral Music Director at Windsor Secondary School in North Vancouver, Canada. But you should be Canadian because it's a Canadian organization and uh, the work they do with Cuba and bringing Canada to Cuba and Cuba to Canada is amazing. Uh, you know, having been a choral director for my sixth year now and going to festivals and uh, cultural tours, this has been by far the best experience we've had at having opportunities to perform and to see performances. Oftentimes you'll, you'll find yourself going to a festival at said place and you'll have your opportunity to sing maybe once or twice, attend one or two workshops, maybe an adjudication. But I know that my choir within the first 48 hours ended up singing more than they had invaluable performance opportunities than they had in the first half of the year. Uh, I have a very busy program with five choirs and concerts all throughout the year, but what they've been able to do is sing in, in genuine, authentic venues that has been such a profound experience. For being a public school, they don't often get a chance to sing in a church, let alone one that from built in colonial times. Uh, the acoustics were amazing. Audience was so receptive, we received a standing ovation, which put my kids over the moon. Uh, what happens here is a very well-run, organized uh, program that's been put together thoughtfully and at the same time with plenty of 
activity. They're really three things every day and coming back, the kids truly just went to bed because they were exhausted but could not wait for what was happening the next day. Uh, in terms of coming to Cuba, you know, anytime uh, you travel, there's always going to be risks and we felt as though we were put at no risk at all. We were always with our guides, they stayed in our hotel, our bus drivers were, were reliable and with us. Uh, we felt uh, that the places that we went and the, the opportunities we had, we always felt secure. Having traveled a lot myself with other groups and as an individual, I felt that this was truly a great place to come with 69 students and our eight adult chaperones. A very good place to come. I'm Yana Kim and I'm in grade 12 from Windsor Secondary which is in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And something that I've really enjoyed on the Cuba trip is going and visiting the schools. First of all, visiting the National School was amazing and seeing all the kids who are so talented. It was so cool to see a school where they're so dedicated to their music. They had so much passion and it was cool to see like how much time that they put into the music and you really see all the dedication through their performances. It was really amazing. And I also loved going to the elementary school. All the kids were so cute and it was so fun just to interact with them and go and dance with them. They just got up when the jazz band was playing and it was so cute to see them just go up and dance in the middle. And it was really fun just to get to hang out with them and see what the culture was like. It was really eye-opening and amazing to see what another country is like. I didn't have any expectations going into it, but it was such a great trip, and I'm glad I went on it. Other things I've liked is the uh, the talent in this country is absolutely incredible. Um, musicians that have so little in their lives are just uh, absolutely phenomenal, and you can truly see the passion and the the drive these people have for music. And I truly appreciated uh, watching that in in my time spent here. The Jazz Cafe was a phenomenal experience. It, it's just, I've never done anything like that in my life, and playing in front of a, such a big audience as well in such a great venue with lights and all that was just so inspiring. And uh, to even receive compliments that you know we sounded like authentic Cuban musicians just really you know satisfied my heart, and that was just something so beautiful. The view was amazing. The food was amazing. Um, uh, just the overall the the. Like we were, I think, really inspired by the location, and I think that reflect that was reflected in our music. Coming here, like, really opened my eyes, um, making me realize that, you know, I'm, I'm so blessed to live in Canada. You know, I and I wish that lifestyle upon these people, but to see the happiness and joy that they can derive from such a society is just outstanding. Yeah, thank you, Canada, Cuba. Um, this has just been outstanding. Uh, I would do this again in a in, in a heartbeat for sure. So, yeah, just uh, yeah, thank you. The, the elementary school kids were very good musically and they were also very into it um, when they were watching their peers perform. They were very um, open to all of us coming in to their school, having fun, playing for them. It was a very fun experience. In terms of um, proposing a trip like this to administration, I mean, obviously most of them will be, you know, nervous um, taking large groups out of country. It is a lot of work to get the paperwork and, and everything in place to take students out of the country um, to somewhere where we don't speak the language and it's a completely different culture for us. Um, but I felt secure knowing that we were using a company that's been together for over 25 years and it's a company that I've admired and longed to travel with for a long time. Um, so uh, their representatives in Ontario were always in contact with us, giving us all the information that I needed, um, answering all of my questions. They were in contact with me up, into, up until the day that we left and then as soon as we arrived uh, their team here was waiting for us and uh, we were able to be completely transparent with all of our questions and information that we needed and of course we're able to supply it to our administration. Any questions that they had we were able to get answered um, long before our trip and again um, just the team of chaperones that I chose to bring were our 
very strong and trustworthy, loyal uh, people and, and that had no doubts with them and they were people that our administration trusted too and that really helped. This trip has just been a complete dream come true for me. It was exactly what I always wanted it to be and I would definitely suggest other teachers putting in the work to go. Um, it is a bit of a pain leading up to it but uh, once you get here it's completely worth it and definitely something I would like to do in future years. to see the kids with so much passion that was the one thing that I really found like interesting if you put all your focus into one thing that you actually love it's so fun you get to do it with all your friends and see all the things with them you make great memories with each other music trips are always really fun no matter where you go and Cuba is definitely a place you want to go with your friends <laughs> a rare opportunity and then to have Coralina and the director work with our group and our singers and teaching us a short Spanish piece just really made it authentic singing with the other singers it was very very special for my choir singers it was a very big highlight and a big part of their enjoyment of the trip thanks Canada Cuba see you next time